Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have contemporary economic issues affecting the Filipino entrepreneur. Peso exchange rate. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to define the exchange rate, understand the peso appreciation and depreciation, and analyze the effects of peso appreciation and depreciation. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. It is the value of a country's currency against the currency of other countries or economic zone. A. Foreign exchange rate. B. Exchange rate. C. Currency trading. D. Currency exchange. The answer is B. Exchange rate. 2. It is the International Organization for Standardization ISO currency code for Philippine peso. A. PHP. B. PhD. C. PLP. D. Peso sign. The answer is A. PHP. 3. It is the most convertible foreign currency in the Philippines. A. China Yuan. B. Hong Kong Dollar. C. Japanese Yen. D. U.S. Dollar. The answer is D. U.S. Dollar. 4. It is an increase in the value of one currency about other currencies. A. Currency evaluation. B. Currency devaluation. C. Currency appreciation. D. Currency depreciation. The answer is C. Currency appreciation. 5. This is evident that the Philippines has a stronger currency. A. 55 Philippine pesos per 1 United States dollar. B. 56 Philippine pesos per 1 United States dollar. C. 57 Philippine pesos per 1 United States dollar. D. 58 Philippine pesos per 1 United States dollar. The answer is A. 55 Philippine pesos per 1 United States dollar. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Differentiate the four market structures according to their characteristics. 1. Number of sellers. 2. Type of products. 3. Entry, exit to market. 4. Price power.
Trading with other countries is also an important economic activity that impacts the economy. The selling locally made products mean we earn dollars as payment for these goods bought by foreign buyers. In the same manner, we buy goods from other countries. When we trade with other countries, we need to use a common currency to pay the goods we bought from them, likewise, they have to pay the goods we sell to them. An exchange rate is the value of one nation's currency versus the currency of another nation or economic zone. In the Philippines, we adopt an exchange rate system called free floating. A free floating exchange rate will rise and fall due to the changes in the foreign exchange market. It means that the rise or fall of the currency is based on supply and demand. The table shows the lists of various currencies into which the Philippine peso is convertible. The most commonly traded currency is the U.S. dollar. As shown in the table, we need 49 pesos to buy a U.S. dollar. The country needs less local currency to buy foreign currency, which makes the local currency stronger. Likewise, this is the effect of the forces of demand and supply in the market. When the supply of a currency increases, its value tends to decrease and we have to pay a lower price for it. When the demand for a foreign currency increases, its value will increase and we pay a higher price for it. Currency appreciation is an increase in the value of one currency about another currency. On the other hand, currency depreciation is a decrease in the value of one currency against the other. The exchange rate will play an important role for the firms that are engaged in exporting goods and importing raw materials. The effects of peso appreciation. An appreciation makes exports more expensive and reduces the competitiveness of exporting firms. However, at least raw materials, example oil products, will be cheaper following an appreciation. The effects of peso depreciation. A depreciation of peso will make exports cheaper and exporting firms will benefit. However, firms importing raw materials will face higher costs of imports. For your activity, please read the directions. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is the exchange rate? 2. What is the difference between appreciation and depreciation? 3. What are the effects of peso appreciation and depreciation? Reflect on this. Somewhere in this small world, you can find a place where everyone appreciates you more than you think you deserve. M.F. Moonzire. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.